Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera, and welcome to today's live color along. Today's Wednesday, first day of spring. Happy spring to everyone. We are coloring this morning with watercolor pencils, so we're going to have a good time with today's page. So, good morning to everyone. How is everyone this morning? Let's see who is here. Scarlett says, "Hey, hey!" in her barking voice. And who else is here with us this morning besides my friend Scarlett? Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Alexandra. Hey, Beth Turner. Good morning, Marianne. Hey, good morning, Chris Castelli. Got to got to kind of scroll up to see who else is here. Cleo's here with us this morning. Good morning, Cleo. Cleo is saying, what medium are you using today and what picture? Good question, Cleo Frazier. I am using watercolor pencils. I've got to get Scarlett to be quiet here. And we are using a page from Color Along Volume 11. And it is Never Give Up. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. Nope, take with a grain of salt. Where is our page? I can never find the page. You notice that? How come I can never find the page? Because my head is in different places lately. Wouldn't it be funny if this page wasn't in this book? go I found it okay so this page can also be found in mood lifters which is a variety coloring book about uh, to kind of lift your mood for anxiety uh, depression and self-esteem I'm just gonna kind of give a little bit of light onto that and I'm using the pad color uh, watercolor pencils that are no longer in a box because I've used them so much um, and I'm using a paintbrush with this so that's how I'm using my watercolor pencils good morning to Ben Larson hey good morning Heather Berger uh, well, I think I missed some people, and I my apologies if I missed you, but good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. Hey, Alice, hey, Dawn, uh, who else is here with us this morning? Um, Winston Churchill quote, never give up looking. Is that what the Churchill, or never give up is a Winston Churchill quote, right? Uh, hey, let me see if I can get Scarlett to uh, occupy herself. Scarlett, what happened? Oh, I don't know either. All right, here, I'll give you something else. So never give up. How I mean, is there something that you kind of try tell yourself, hey, never give up, keep on going, what else? There's not so many other phrases for this, aren't there? Uh, keep on trucking, right? Most of my pencils are in zippy in zip baggies, easier for traveling, Marianne is saying. Yeah, I have a few uh, different sets in some Ziplocs. Um, don't you just love a Ziploc? Um, and um, if you'd like to share this color along, please do so. Please feel free to share it on a coloring group. Um, kind of looks like not as many people have been watching color longs lately. Um, and I don't really think that it has anything to do with anything except maybe just kind of like the algorithm of Facebook is happening. Because um, it looks like that eyeball in the corner is a little lower, but not so much at the end. So good morning, Lynn Miller. So today I'm coloring with a... Um, Coloring with color, watercolor pencils by Maped. Uh, what else are we going to do today? This morning, we're also going to talk about uh, a new book that I just submitted this morning and should be on Amazon, um, I don't know, maybe late tonight, tomorrow morning. Um, it's not a coloring book. Well, it could be a coloring book, but it's more of an activity book. And I'm going to show, we're going to talk about that today. I'll show you the cover. I'll reveal the cover. So it'll be, it'll be like the cover reveal this morning. And I actually have a page from that book that um, we can kind of play around with today. And there's a free page for you from that book on the Just Color Coloring Group. Um, and then we're going to talk about um, my new color palette book. Maybe we'll even, um, I don't know, should we use the color palette book? We may as well, right? Let me get my Kindle open. And um, we'll use the color palette book to color this page. So I'll kind of, I'll go with some color schemes that are in that, in that color palette book. As long as the Kindle can open, I don't know. I'm having a little bit of technology issues today. I don't know what the problem is, but um, 
tech is not my friend this morning. There it goes. And then we're going to talk about coloring camp this morning. We have a lot to talk about this morning. Coloring camp begins on April 28th. So we're winding down. Um, we have, what, 40 days left or something like that? Something like close to 40 days left before coloring camp begins. I don't know. I can't count. We know I'm not good at math. And um, there was something else I was going to talk to you about this morning or show you. Um, I think that was it. All right. So maybe that was it. All right. So let's talk about coloring camp first before we begin. Before we begin coloring this morning. Because there are a lot of questions lately. People have been messaging me um, about coloring camp. I received an email the other day about coloring camp. And then I received a message on my live chat portion of my live, my live chat feature on my website asking me a question and they wanted me to do something actually. If you, hey, if you send me a question, just kind of a side note here, if you send me a question on my website through live chat, you've got to tell me who you are because it does not tell me who you are. So somebody actually wanted me to, to I don't know, they had a, a, a question that was specific to them and I could not help them because I didn't know who they were. So um, you've got to kind of, you've got to reveal yourself when you do that and let me know who you are. Just write your name in there. Um, hey, good morning, Sarah and Diana. So coloring camp, coloring camp begins Sunday, April 28th. It's through Saturday, May 4th. And we will be live on Facebook. That's how we'll do our tutorials. Um, we've got a lot happening for coloring camp this time. A lot of new style things. I have the book with me this morning and I will actually flip through this book um, in just a minute or so. Uh, we meet every day, Sunday through Saturday, at 10 a.m. to about 11.30-ish a.m. Eastern Time. And we've got coloring tutorials. We have a week-long coloring challenge. Um, some things have been taken away. We, like, we're not doing the uh, daily color together on this camp because I just felt like it was a little overwhelming for some people trying to catch up, catch up, catch up. And um, I've got some other things in the works that I'm working out on, uh, working on for it. We've got some activity pages in this book. And... Um, Let's take a flip through of it because it's got some exciting new techniques that we've never done at camp before. Um, coloring camp is $19.99 per person, which includes uh, the book and access to the companion uh, Facebook group. So it's really easy to sign up for coloring camp. All you have to do is go to Amazon, purchase the book, and then send me an email, which is listed on the back of the book. And let me know that you've purchased that book and give me your, send me a proof of purchase, whether it's a photograph of the book or it's a photograph of your, a screenshot of your receipt. Um, and then I will add you to the Facebook or send you an invite to the Facebook, um, color, to the companion coloring camp book, coloring camp group. That makes sense? So we've got a, um, a lot happening for camp um, this time around. We're going to be working with colored pencils for blending and shading because that's kind of a basic. You always kind of want to do that. Kind of lay down the basic and um, and then you'll be able to do anything else with any other medium. And then we're going to do gemstones this time. And we're going to use brush markers and colored pencils to do that. So that is going to be um, a lot of fun because we've never done that at coloring camp. I don't even think I do that during color longs. Um, so we're going to talk about um, how to create gemstones, the gemstone look. And we're going to learn about different gemstones and what the meanings are that's included in this, in this book. And then on Tuesday of Coloring Camp, we are going to deal work with colored pencils and crayons to, uh, to color skin tones. And I've got uh, Black Widow skin tone pencils that I'll be using and I'll also be using some crayons. However, you don't need specific pencils to create skin tones. So um, although... Um, the Black Widow skin tone pencils are fantastic and I would strongly encourage you to buy a set of those. You do not need to have those in order to have to to um, to attend camp and to participate in learning how to color skin tones. It would be great if you did, uh, but you just never, ever, um, never, ever have to say that. Um, Sarah is asking, what day is GEMS? GEMS is on Monday. Gems is on Monday. And then um, Wednesday is going to be abstract. Abstract yay or nay is what I'm calling it because it's mixed media. And a lot of people say, eh, I'm not really sure about that abstract uh, coloring page. Maybe it's not for me. Where do I do? Where do I begin? Uh, they walk away from it. So we're going to tackle an abstract coloring page um, and break it down to a simpler version. 
Then on Thursday, we're going to uh, visit uh, pointillism as our technique. And on Friday, monochromatic grayscale. So we've got a grayscale illustration page, and we're going to color with one color, which is what monochromatic is. And then on Saturday, we're going to use water, uh, the watercolor effect is what I'm calling it, but we're using gel crayons for that day. Not color, watercolor pencils, but we're going to use gel crayons. Um, and there's plenty of different... Um, different brands that you could get. So we've got a supply list here, which is all any brand. You do not need a specific brand of anything to color along with us and to attend camp and to complete all of the projects that are here. So here's our blending and shading page. All of the pages um, in this um, book are, have been specific to uh, this book. They've all been drawn. They're not found in any other book. And then we've got gems. We're gonna create all these different gems on uh, Monday. Is that what I said on Monday? Is this out of order? Monday. Did I say Monday, Sarah? I'm sorry. Monday, not Tuesday. Monday. And then we're going to go to apply our gems, uh, our gem and stone tech coloring technique to these mini mandalas. And we're going to talk about the meaning. So that's in this book, too. I thought it would kind of be a fun thing to know. Hey, what does amethyst mean? Faithfulness and love. So that type of thing. And then we'll be approach, we'll be uh, tackling skin tones and learning how to actually blend and shade with crayons and colored pencils to uh, create a skin tone color. Does a simple mixed media mix set of Black Widows also include skin tones? It does not conclude. Mary's asking this question. It does not actually include the skin tones. You know, let, let me. I have them. Why don't, why don't I see them? I have the sets. Um, find them. There's two sets of skin tones by Black Widow. And um, there's a dark tone set and a light tone set. Now, take a look at the colors that are in here. So if you were to take a look at what is in these for the, you, I mean, for instance, light tones, um, the colors that are in the light tone set um, are colors that you may not realize that you can create skin tones with. Like, for example, this one is called Sunburst, which is kind of a, a chartreuse yellowish color, right? Um, or this one right here is called Fairy Floss. Now, I don't know if these colors are actually, if they cross over to the other set. I don't think I've, um, I don't think that I've delved deep enough into this. Does anyone else know that? I love the letter set. Can wait to buy the other set. Hey, I've been using them for um, coloring that is not skin tone. So you don't even need them just for skin. I mean, I hope everyone realizes that. This is a really nice set of, I haven't even, I haven't even opened these yet. Let's crack them open while we're, while we're live. This is the dark tone. And a lot of browns, olive brown, leather. I love the names all the time. Suede. Um, let's just dump them. Let's just dump them out. They don't cross over? All right, Sarah, thank you. Sarah's saying they do not. Can't hear me over that crinkling. Can't, Sarah's saying they do not cross over. Good to know. I haven't, but I kind of, I felt like they kind of did though. I don't know why. Some of those names seemed a little familiar to me. Um, so take, so this is what the, the um, Black Widow Skin Tone set looked like. I love them. I think they're really nice. I think that I would use them for other stuff too, not just coloring skin, you know? Doesn't, you don't need to limit yourself. So there's our skin tone. Then we're going to um, dive into an abstract page. And um, a lot of people would look at this page and they would say, uh, holy moly, I am not coloring that. Or they would say, wow, woohoo, we're coloring that. So what? where do you lie? Like, what, what, what is your opinion about a page like this? Do you walk away from it? Do you get afraid of it? Does it make your head spin? Uh, does it make your heart go pitter-patter in a good way? Um, and we're going to take a look at how you can actually break this page down so it is not overwhelming and you can color it in so many different ways. You can either color it with um, uh, a tiny space approach or you can color it with a bigger space approach. So we're going to talk about all that. So um, that's the abstract yay or nay. And then this is the page we're going to be using for pointillism, which is just a very, very basic, uh, hey, Lauren, a very basic still life um page for pointillism and then we're going to uh, approach this grayscale illustration page which is a drawing that I had done years and years and years ago 
and it's kind of an imaginary city, just kind of in my head. And that's going to be monochromatic. Paisley doesn't like that, apparently. Here's watercolor for gel crayons. And then we have a coloring challenge. This is the only page that is actually in um, another book. Paisley. I've got to get Paisley to be quiet. Hang on, you guys. Okay, okay. Calm down. I don't know what these dogs are doing with all the toys I'm giving them, but one day I'm going to move a piece of furniture and there's going to be like a whole pack of toys underneath there, right? That happened to you with your cats or your dogs? Isn't it crazy? Well, I'm glad that you're back. challenge this is a coloring challenge page we looked at that one then this book also has activity pages in it um this is um finish it up and this is actually a, a new book um I, yeah diane is really into that abstract page right and she does a really really good job with it so this finish it up page is actually um this page I actually just created a, a new book with this, and it's called um, Finish It Up. Wait, where is it? I don't even have it with me. Do I have it with me? I want to give you the full name because it has a subtitle too. It's called um, Grid Finish It Puzzles, me a dollar edition. And I'm going to show you that, um, that cover in a little while. And then we have a Find the Hidden Objects page. <coughs> Hello, Miss Melody. And then we have a maze, and everyone's like, holy moly, but I don't know. We're going to do something interesting interesting with this maze um, for coloring camp. Uh, word scramble, spring is in the air is the theme. We've got a coloring page for our logo from the cover, which is our TP this time. We're, we're hanging out on a TP. And then it has a second set of all of these coloring pages. The back of the book also has color swatch charts, which we'll be using um, as we go through uh, our week of camp. And there's two copies, so there's two copies of every page in this book. And then, of course, there is a, um, a couple, there are a couple of pages in the back of the book for notes. Maybe you need to make notes. I did a color chart, and no color is twice for the Black Widows. That's good to know, Sarah. Thank you. Um, so we're coloring with mood lifters. So what I'm going to do this morning is break out, if I can get this to happen. A lot of technology happening here today. I don't know. Okay. Here is my Colorist Color Palette book, and this is available on Amazon um, as a Kindle version for only $4.99, and um, we're going to take a look at this book as we go through it. This book has 30 color palettes, which are based on paintings or finished coloring pages, and then it also has 56 color schemes, and the 56 color schemes are based on these little circles. We used this the other day, so let's pick one of these. Um, from this color scheme palettes, from the, from these palettes. I kind of like that one. I don't know. I'm kind of attracted to that one for some reason. Um, but I don't want to use it again because I used it the other day. like that one also. So maybe we'll use that one, the one in the upper right-hand corner. So let me see if I can uh, keep this with me so that we can use it while we're coloring this morning. Is this going to work? We don't even know. I don't know. But a lot happening on this desk today. I'm running out of room and I want a tiny house. Does anybody else have a dream of having a tiny house? Um, okay, so we've got this. So let's take a look at what my pencils are and let's begin, right? I was looking forward to today's color along so we could just kind of like kick back and color and relax and forget the world, right? All right, I'm going to pull out my colors first. So let's see. We've got here's my here are my colors here. So let's first take out a pink. So here's my pink color right here. So I've got pink. 
Then it looks like there's kind of a lavender color for this one, so I'm gonna use lavender. And it definitely has a blue. So here's my blue for there. And then it also has a purple, look how short my pencils are. I think I need a new set of these. It's time to replenish. I'm actually gonna switch my blue to this marina blue because I just kind of know it a little bit better and I like it. Now we've got this color and this color and we have mauve. So I'm actually gonna stick with these four colors here. And now I think I'd like to add something else to kind of make them pop and really kind of make it um, make it stand out because these kind of are in the same family. But I like this color uh, palette here in this corner. I don't know if we can see it, this one right here. And um, I'm gonna take the yellow that's there, which I'm gonna take sunny yellow and I'm going to take this fruity orange. Fruity orange. Where was that other pencil? Let's take fruity orange. And I'm going to mix fruity orange with this dune color. So here are my coloring supplies. Let's see if we can get this to all kind of stay on it within the frame of the camera. There we go. All right, so the first thing, let's do this first. Let's take a look at the background. And I was thinking about this before I um, hit the live button this morning and thinking to myself, how am I going to make this pop? So let's take the background and take a totally new color from maybe this, this palette here. So I'm kind of combining both of these and picking which ones I really, really like. Um, and I'm going to take this apple green color and color my background. So I'm going to color the whole background with a light pressure. And then I'm going to go back over it with some water. So I can give it a painterly effect back there. And then I will take a minute to and let it dry. because we, then we want to go over the rest of it for the letters. So never give up. Should we, we all have a never give up attitude today? I have moments. Do you have moments where you're like, oh, but then you got to let it go, right? You got to kind of say, okay, I'm going to give myself five minutes to feel like that. And five minutes to feel like I just can't go on and I just cannot give, cannot continue. I'm applying a little bit of a heavier pressure there. underneath my letters because I want it to kind of look like uh, they're kind of on on top of something. They're on something, you know. I don't think they're on something. So they're on a happy drug. What am I using? I'm using Maped. I'm using Maped watercolor pencil, Sarah. A little heavier pressure to underneath my letters. There's my I, the G. And then under the U and the P, Up. I was watching a clip from the movie Up the other day. Don't you just love that movie? I love that movie Up. It just kind of tugs at your heartstrings. I think I need to watch the whole thing again. That's kind of a good movie about never giving up, isn't it? And I'm kind of using this on a little bit of an angle too as I color this. this section here in between the G a little bit of a uh, fill in here I think I may have to uh, rotate my page or pivot as they say Boy, any little movement on that uh, iPad screen, really, huh? Look at that. I've got to move that over. That's kind of making my eyes a little crazy. Isn't it adorable? Up. I know. It makes you cry, doesn't it, Lynn? I agree. 
And I love the little guy. Isn't he adorable? Sometimes I think to myself, is that what's wrong in the world? Is that we look at things like things like that movie and then we're trying to find people that are it are so committed like that guy is in that movie and then we just get I don't know. Sometimes it's frustrating. I think it frustrates people. But it's so it really gives you a chance to just kind of think that anything is possible. And then you've got Paisley in the background. Talk about never give up. She's a persistent dog, let me tell you. The craziest part is Paisley is so mellow, believe it or not. You wouldn't think, right? As she has to voice her opinion. outside did you ever finish alaskan bush people i watched um half alexandra's asking me this question i watched um the first half of the first episode and i was going to watch the rest of it later on i was watching it while i was um working on my uh my new um grid finish it book i had it on the on the side like another window open on my computer but i wish i could watch it on my ipad so i don't have to worry about another thing i watched when uh birdie got inside the chicken coop and laid down how insane is that why in the world would you do that okay now i've got some water just a little bit i can't watch it because it's too sad but maybe i'll try again it's very sad isn't it sarah but it's so cute i'm gonna put a piece of paper behind it behind what i'm coloring Got to move that out of the way. My goodness. Okay. So let me get a little bit of a bigger brush than this. I've got that brush. And I guess this one's okay too. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of water. And I'm just going to add water on top of my colored pencil. Of what I've already done. Look at the difference. It's almost like the paint and water, paint on water, uh, paint with water books. And then here's a little bit of a darker section here underneath the letters, but I wanted that background to really kind of stick out, stand out and stick out and make it pop, make the rest of it pop. And I, I think I chose the right color. I don't know. We'll see. You don't know until you're done, right? You don't want to think about it too much. I've got to go let Miss Paisley out. Hang on a second. My grandma always wanted to go to Alaska and never made it. Um, thank you, Sarah. Sarah says, I love the way you're doing this. Thank you very much. Hey, let me let this little dog outside. You have to go outside, Paisley? All right. I guess that's a guess. Okay. I don't know what happened here. It looks like, what is that? Something orange. We don't know what that is. You know, this kind of reminds me of something that maybe you could, like a tea stained page. You could actually uh, take watercolor like this, watercolor pencil, and just put it on the background of a blank page. And then you could print your color, do the same technique, and then print your coloring page on top of it. So it would almost look like a tea stain type thing. Hey, good morning, Adina, or good afternoon to you, right? Is it afternoon for you? I think it must be. And it doesn't really make a difference which way you're, the direction of the brush. I mean, to a, I guess to a, a point it would, but. Okay. 
get a smaller brush now and see if I can go on the on the in-betweens. Hey, so I'm thinking of, um, what do you guys think about this? We have Color Along Volume 12 um, happening on um, May 13th. Starts May 13th, Color Along. In between the letters, I know. Thank you, Sarah. I almost did. We have Color Along Volume 12 starting on May 13th. Hey, what do you guys think if Color Alongs were on Mondays and Thursdays instead of Mondays and Wednesdays? Would that be um, Would that be doable for everyone? What do you guys think? I'm thinking of changing it to Monday and Thursday instead of Monday and Wednesday. But I want to hear feedback from everybody before I before I do it. I thought maybe we could start it with uh, volume 12 rather than changing what's happening with volume 11. In between these, in between these. Did I forget any? I don't think so. I'm going to give that a chance to dry. Well, that's drying. I, I have to show you my new, the new, the cover um, of this new book. While well, that's drying. Well, that's drying. Let's let that dry. And I want to show you the cover um, of this new book. So this new book um, that is coming out either later tonight or uh, tomorrow, um, out of my hands at this point, um, this new book is called uh, Grid Finish It Puzzles, Mandala Edition. And the way it works is that um, the way it works is that everyone's answering about those Thursdays. Thank you, you guys. It looks like everyone can do Thursdays. Um, so the way this works is this Grid Finish It Puzzles, Mandala Edition is that you take each page is set up. There's 24 pages in this book. And here are these mandalas with these grids. And you basically copy what you see in each box on the left and you copy it into the right. Some people have said, this is too difficult for me. My brain just can't get around this. Um, some people have said, ooh, I love it. I'm going to dive right into this. So it's really a personal opinion. So I'm just wanted to show, to show it to everyone that this is a new puzzle book that is coming out. Um, and I actually have this page that I started working on from this book while that's drying because we're in the drying phase. Um, for, so I'm taking a look at this book, at this page right now. This page is actually available. You can get this as a free page on the um, Just Color Coloring group. I forgot what exactly where it is on that group. Uh, then you can just get this page on the Just Color Coloring group. I don't know if I have a link for it, but if you go to the Just Color Coloring group, you can find this um, this page there. So this page is, so here's where I'm working. So if you can, you can probably see, I'm just going to kind of do it in a blue marker so that we can actually see what the heck is going on. So I've got this, this shape right here. Here it is there. And now I'm mimicking it here. And then this shape here, and I'm mimicking it here. So I mimicked it in that box. Same thing with this. Here's this shape here, and I'm mimicking it here and here. So it becomes, eventually becomes the whole thing. It's a really cool way to learn how to draw, Bev, actually. It really is a cool way to learn how to draw, draw because you're, mir you're mirroring that image that you see. And then we've got this box and this box. Here's that line. Here's this line. <coughs> and then we've got this one. I'm going to go over these in blue, and then I will pop in another, just so you can see them better, because I don't know if you can actually see the pencil. And there's that one. And now what's happening with this one? So here's this and this. We've got this. Now I'm in this box and I'm in this box, right? So let me get my pencil out again. I like to use a pencil for these. So I've got this box, this box. From here, I'm going up to there. And then here's another line that kind of comes from here like that. So don't think about the whole thing, only think about that one little box that we're in. And you can actually kind of put a piece of paper over it so that you kind of just say, well, where do I want to actually be?
I forgot the N in never. Never, ever give up. What did I forget? Did I spell this wrong? I'm so confused, Sarah. So you can kind of do it like this. You can kind of pop these little page, like take some paper or maybe even like cut out something so it's just kind of like a little bit of a viewfinder for you. There's that box right there. And that's all you're concentrating on is just that tiny little section. This is a really cool way to learn how to draw actually because you're mimicking what's happening. You're copying what's happening. So there's my section there. So I've got this line, did that. This line, did that. Now I have this line here that's kind of coming from here. And I'm going to go like this. Then I have this one that's kind of going like this. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Hold on a second. See? Everybody makes mistakes, right? All right, I've got this one. Whew. All right, I'm coming out. I did this, this. Now I am going to, from this section here, come out like this. This is actually coming like this. And then this is like this. And then this is kind of like this. So that's what ended up happening here. You can see the gist. You get it now, Mary? In between part, you asked if you missed any. Oh, all right, Sarah, I'll have to get it. Do, so this makes sense about how to do these now? So you're just only focusing on the one little box, the, in the one little box. So now I've got this box here that's coming from here. And this line actually that came in here actually kind of extends across like that. And then we've got this box here which is kind of going like this. And remember this? There, there it is right there. It's kind of hard to do this while I'm live, to be honest with you. It takes a lot of concentration, a lot happening. We need this lesson. Mine has, mine has more eraser marks. It's a good thing I have a sense of humor. <laughs> Lynn has a great sense of humor. I always laugh every time I, sp I spend time with Lynn. Um, we laugh more at our weekly painting class um, on Saturdays. It's just a hoot sometimes, right? Hoot. It's my new word. Do you ever have a word that all of a sudden gets stuck on you? We're going to do one of these live. Once the book comes out, we'll do a, a live video of this, kind of a live little mini class of these of these pages. But I just wanted to kind of give you the, the gist of what's happening with this book. So that's this is really good for kids, too, because... Um, it just kind of trains your eye. It's an exercise. And I mean, maybe there's pencil lines and there's some mandalas in here that are easier than others. There are some more difficult than others. Um, and so, yeah, I'll need more practice on your back video. Yeah, we're going to, we'll have to just practice with it. This will kind of be fun. This is actually kind of fun to do, uh, together, you know, to do them together, whether or not it's a video, maybe, okay, like a, maybe not really a column, a long book, but kind of just finish just finish it all together so we can have a finish it a finish it color along finish it in video finish it live video i used to do this type this same type of thing um in a painting class with kids where i would take a photograph of a flower for example from like a magazine um yeah when you finish you can color it exactly um, where I would take a photograph and I would put it on, I would rip it in half and put on half the page and then you would have to paint the other half of it. So that was another finish it style type of thing. So Sarah is telling me that I did not get the in-between. I feel like I did, Sarah, but I'm going to do it again. Because maybe I'm not seeing it. Gotta go with a better eye. Yeah, Lynn was a great co-host. We're going to have to co-host again. There it is a little bit right there. Okay. So let me put my water aside. Now, let's put it next to the wires, right? All right, so I've got my color palette here. I've already used my green. Let's get rid of that. And here's what I'm going to use for this. And I just kind of want it to be colorful. So let's start out with, um, I don't know, let's start out with pink, you know? <clears throat> Bev is saying how to draw a book. You mean like a, a, a class on how to draw a coloring book? 
Well, I have a new group that I just started that anyone can join if they're interested in learning in uh, tips about how to create a coloring book or if you're someone that um, wants to get involved with publishing something, maybe you want to publish a cookbook or a kid's art. So I'm just kind of just doing this uh, this pink color all over my letters for the word never. Some of the areas that are a little are still a little bit wet on this page from what I just did, but I'm just going to ignore it. We're going to pretend that it just didn't happen. Um, you know, on a Saturday morning, Lynn is talking about join us on Saturday morning. Saturday mornings is the painting uh, membership class, and we meet every other Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and we uh, paint on a variety of surfaces. And what have we painted so far? We painted, um, do I have my paintings? Oh, I think I brought it down to the other. I can't keep everything in the same room. I won't be able to fit, <laughs> right? Um, we painted a Van Gogh painting last time. This week we are doing a monochromatic painting uh, of a still life. And then the first session we painted the snowmen. That was a lot of fun. So um, we meet every other Saturday at 10 a.m. till about 1130-ish. We're all live. We can talk to each other. That's the good part. Um, I'm not, I'm not the drawing type, so when you finish it, I'll color it. Okay, that's cool. That sounds that sounds like it's a it's a plan, Diana. I gotta print out another one because that one looks like it's just a bunch of mistakes. All right, I'm not gonna add water to this until I am finished with all of my colors because I just feel like it's just gonna be too messy. All right, so now let's jump in with this purple. Give it a quick shopping. I still have to reschedule draw live, Sarah. My apologies. But it will probably be sometime next week. Unless, I don't know if I can swing it this week. I feel like there's a lot happening this week. Today's the first day of spring, right? Which means, and it's also a full moon on the equinox. They say it's supposed to be a very powerful full moon. Have any, has anyone experienced anything uh, out of the ordinarily crazy because of the full moon? I think that there's been some crazy things happening in my area because of it. You know, the dogs have been pretty good, though. Usually my dogs are pretty good when there's a full moon. I mean, they get a little nuts sometimes, but speaking of which, the doggies, I'm going to go check on them. They're outside in the, in the backyard. I can't see them. I don't like when that happens. I've got to go get them. How and where did you get these surfaces and what kind of paint do you use? Oh, good question, Mary. Let me get my dogs and I'm going to show you some of the surfaces and I'll show you some of the paint. Mary's question. Um, sometimes, hey Dawn, so my name, your tree's already budding. You know, I looked yesterday. I gotta look again. Um, your hyper is all get out, Chris. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm not hanging around with you today. <laughs> no offense, my friend. Um, so this is one of this is the one we did on the first day. We used this wood panel. I bought these wood panels on Amazon. I think Lynn bought these. 